young woman about to be the east side rapist's next victim, suddenly she fought back. He pulled me out of my car and I started screaming and yelling, help, help me. A bank robber held a gun to this woman's head and demanded she go with him. Instead, she dropped to the ground. She just went right to the ground. It was a fearful defiance. I think it was a reaction from her. And again, it was the right thing for the right time, for the right moment, based on the totality of circumstances. Macomb County Sheriff Mark Hackle says these terrible situations are a tough reminder. There's no magic formula that you have to get out of those life and death situations. I wish there was. I wish there was something we could tell somebody. It was a panacea for any and all circumstances that they're going to be confronted with. But unfortunately, that's not reality. Hackle says each situation is very different. There's no one answer that works in all situations. If you're going to be defiant, if you're going to run, make sure there's others around that are witnessing what's happening. More than likely, they don't like witnesses. They don't want anybody to see them. They'll you probably have a better advantage in those types of situations. The key to protecting yourself is something Hackle calls hypervigilance. Who else is in this bar? Who else is in this restaurant? Who else is in this bank? Who's in this building? As I'm walking through it and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing or what my purpose of, of being there is, I'm also paying attention to the other people that are in there. As you watch people walk out to their car, are they really looking at a car window? Do they see that nobody's occupying those other vehicles around them, even the ones next to them? Do they have their car keys ready when they're walking up to their car? But don't mistake hypervigilance for paranoia or fear. And they're looking for somebody who looks like they're scared, who's afraid, and sometimes you walk around with that paranoia, and you then can become a target. Hackle says be aware, know your surroundings, study people, and if something doesn't seem right, trust your gut. 90 to 99% of the time, you are correct in your instincts. That, that sixth sense people have about themselves, I mean, go with it. Every one of us has the opportunity or potential of becoming a victim to somebody who wants to perpetrate a crime. That's the unfortunate reality. What really is the important thing is trying to lessen that impact as best you can and that's by paying attention to your surroundings. Also, put down the phone, stop texting when you're walking to your car or in parking lots. That means you're not paying attention to your surroundings and could make yourself a target. By being aware, not only are you helping yourself, you could be the witness to a crime, and then you could help police find their suspect. The Macomb County Sheriff's Department is now using Facebook and Twitter to alert people of crimes. If you'd like to check it out, go to our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. And for more news.